Hello, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealthTube, visiting with Robert Kowalski. He is the author of The Blood Pressure Cure. And Bob, in your book, you have a chapter that's devoted to the secret weapons in the right. fight against high blood pressure. Yeah. Let's start with talking about one. It's an amino acid. Tell us more. Well, Raina, when, when I first started uh, writing this book and doing the research, uh, I looked for natural approaches to lowering blood pressure. And the, there was substantial literature backing up the idea that this amino acid called arginine could lower blood pressure. But there was a big problem behind it. In order to get the effect, people would have to be on a continuous IV drip. Oh, all right. In other words, it had to be in the bloodstream on a continuous level. If you were to simply take a tablet of ordinary arginine, mm -hmm. it wouldn't give that benefit. But when you were on that drip, it really it reduced the pressure and increased the amount of flow to the muscle of the heart to keep it All healthier right. and beating well. So the, the difficulty was this. How do we get arginine to be an efficient additive to a supplement to use in, in the diet? Two, a number of companies have now made this available. Uh, as a sustained release. So gradually it releases into the bloodstream and keeps that level up so we have the benefits so that blood pressure can be reduced throughout the entire day. Now, how did they come up with this? Well, that's what I'd like to know, yes. It turns out that in about the mid 90s, even before then, the early 90s, about 1993, 94, doctors started to observe that something was going on on the inside of the artery. Oh. Something was being made actually into endothelium, that's the lining of the right. artery. And when that was released, there was a relaxation of the artery itself. And blood pressure fell, heart rate fell, it was, mm -hmm. it was a, a pleasure to behold. But they had no idea what it was because it, ha it was manufactured, worked, and was gone in a nanosecond. That's what you said, yes. They couldn't figure it out. So they, they had no idea what they were looking at, so they called it EDRF, endothelium derived relaxation factor. <laughs> and that was actually the way it was in the literature for years. Then a, a trio of doctors discovered that EDRF was a gas called nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. That won them the Nobel Prize. Excellent. And it's, it was found then that the amino acid arginine is the building block for nitric oxide. So as we increase the amount of uh, arginine that's available for the arteries to use on a regular basis throughout the day, the more nitric oxide gets made and the more nitric oxide, the lower the blood pressure by relaxing those arteries. It's one of my secret weapons. And what a, what a remedy. Mm -hmm. An easy thing, too, because after all, an amino acid mm -hmm. is nothing more than a building block of protein. In this case, the building block of, of a gas that's beneficial for the body. Naturally derived, so there are zero side effects as compared with those prescription drugs that we probably want to avoid. All right. Well, thank you very much, Bob. We'll have to come back and visit and talk about some of your other secret weapons. Let's do that. All right. Good.